I'm Vincent Hill from Two Works for You. Here are today's top stories. As of this afternoon, four more Oklahomans have died from coronavirus. The new deaths are from Cleveland, Lattimore, Osage, and Washington County. There have been 42 deaths in the state so far. Since Friday, there's been 171 more positive cases, bringing the total to 1,159. The confirmed number of cases globally is topping 1.1 million. In the U.S., there are more than 300,000 confirmed cases. Ten nursing homes in Oklahoma have confirmed cases of coronavirus. Now, according to the state's website, two of those nursing homes are in green country. The state says two cases of coronavirus were found at the villages at Southern Hill in Tulsa. Three cases were at Franciscan Villa in Broken Arrow. Governor Stitt launching a new program today in preparation for coronavirus recovery. It's called Ready Help Go, and it's a volunteer readiness program. Now, those interested in volunteering in their communities can sign up at readyhelpgo.org and leave your skills and areas of interest. Now, once health officials give the all clear for people to leave their homes, you'll receive an email with volunteer needs in your area. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Kerrigan. Well, we are going to be seeing a big warm up on the way as we jump into next week. All ready for tomorrow, going to be significantly warmer, but still below average with those high temperatures in the lower 60s. Then Monday, mid 70s are back with a chance of rain as well. Tuesday and Wednesday, we are going to be in those 80s, so feeling more like springtime before another cold front arrives at the end of this week. So here's your 10 day forecast. Like I said, rain chances are going to return as we head into your Monday. We are going to be looking at a couple of isolated showers and storms throughout the area lasting throughout the afternoon and into your early Tuesday morning. Otherwise, next chance for rain will be the end of this week, Thursday and Friday, as another strong cold front makes its way through late overnight and uh, Wednesday and into your Thursday, bringing those temperatures back below average for the end of this week and into the weekend. All right, Kerrigan, thank you, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Vincent Hill, Two Works For You.